Hello everyone, your judgmental father here. Welcome to the second for on a fashion show of your lovely host, me, Fujikia. Before we start, I just want to thank you all for the people that have submitted me their fashion. And for the judgment of your fashion, I'm going off my personal likes and details in fashion. Everyone has a different taste. At the end of the day, it's just my opinion. So please don't get too butthurt if I say something negative about your fashion. Alright, enough wasting your time, I do that already, let's look at the first fashion from Geist Dragon. My deepest apologies because I think I just screwed up your name yet again, it doesn't seem like I just can't get it right, so I'm sorry for that. We are looking at a Dante Masanune Kensei, Dante Masanune is a very popular and well known daimyo. I'm not going to be going into the history of Date Masanune because this is a fashion show, not a history lesson. Fashion I really do like. It's very accurate to Date Masanune because of the gold and black. Um, one negative for me, it's a personal negative uh, with making fashion. I don't like using the same armor pieces for fashion. I just think, in my opinion, it's a bit lazy and it's not too creative. When using different armor pieces, you're at least trying something different. So that's just a personal gripe with me. But other than that, you've done a really amazing job. The ornament is obviously really good. You've chosen the best ornament for this Kensei design. The only other good ornament there is, is very much inaccurate. And it just looks garbage in my personal opinion. So you've done good there. Now, my really favorite detail with this is the hilt. I don't know if you did this on purpose or not, but Date Masanune's nickname is the One-Eyed Dragon. So the hilt actually really goes well with the look and the character and as well it's just nice black and gold so you've done a really amazing job with this and you should be proud so good job my friend moving on to our second design from get some 1314 his design is based off a french warden now the biggest problem with this fashion is actually it's just too crowded you've put all the symbol you put the you have the right symbols but you put them in the wrong places and you've put too many paint patterns over this look. An improvement would be to get rid of the paint pattern and the symbol on the helmet and on the uh, arms. And for the bottom ones, I'd recommend going for a less popping paint pattern so you can see the symbol more clearly. And I'd probably recommend going for more of a gold look. The other recommendation so far I would give is the changing of the weapon design. It's just all over the place because you got like skulls and then you got wolves and then you got gold and red and then you got gold and blue it looks like in the middle of that one. So it just looks like it's all over the place. I know where you're going with this one. It just seems like you didn't know what exact direction you want to go. With your fashion, I can see that you were trying to make something unique and bold, but unfortunately you kind of missed some of the more important marks for For Honor fashion, and that's totally understandable. But one thing I do have to give you credit on was your back uh, paint pattern design. I thought that was really good, so I incorporated that into one of my improvement designs for you, and I thought that was really good. And I can't wait to see what your fashion's going to be in the near future, so keep it up and don't give up. That sounded really corny. Our third piece of fashion is coming from Soul of Cinder, a Dark Souls player. I'm more of a Sekiro player myself, but that doesn't matter to the art of fashion in For Honor, does it? Or does it actually? I don't know. We are taking a look at a Rep 70 Highlander. Unfortunately, Highlander is my strongest suit of uh, fashion sense, but I'll give it a go. This armor is a very good example of a simple design. It lets the colors and the armor like the silvers, the golds, the deep blues, the reds, and all the material colors pop out and stand out more, as well as not making it stand out too much. A basic design could be using the full complete set and just putting white on it when it doesn't match or it doesn't work well. That's what the difference is between a simple and a basic design. Everything works with this set of armor. You've got the ornament that's nice in material color of the reds and the golds. You've got the weapon that's gold and black and a bit of blue. You've got the armor that has a bit of blue and gold and you've got the arms with a bit of silver. So it shows you that this is more of a royal themed Highlander. I really like the back of the Highlander. It's nice and red. It only has a hint of the yellow and it actually goes well with the effect that he's using. Um, the deer and the little uh, wave, yellow wave, I would say, 
isn't too big and it isn't too distracting to the main theme of the armor. So this is what we're looking at. The armor speaks for itself and the paint pattern and the colors add on to it. They're not the main focus of this armor. Overall, for a Rep 70, I'm very impressed because usually every Rep 70 or higher I see is always using neon paint patterns and just shoving symbols and random ornaments all over your character. So I'm actually impressed this time a Rep 70 knows what they're doing with fashion. Moving on to our last piece of fashion from Nightium, obviously a Nightmane. He has sent me a lot of fashions, so we're going to kind of go through it a bit quick. Our first one we're going to look at is a black and gold Zunhu. Um, same problem with my personal opinion is that I don't like using the same armor. So that's obviously one thing I don't like about this set. But other than that, it's just a simple, you know, black and gold Zunhu. Nothing wrong. You got the weapon correct with the theme. So good job on that one, but nothing too special. The next Zunhu look I actually do much more prefer... It has the red, the blacks, the golds, a bit of the blue now and then. One big negative I would say with this armor is actually the helmet. The helmet is black and red and it doesn't actually go uh, with the rest of the armor. Because your rest of your armor is black and gold and a bit of red where your helmet's just red and black. So it doesn't work uh, more efficiently. The weapon does look good. So I'll give you that. The weapon looks good. But the biggest negative with this one is definitely the helmet doesn't match with the rest of the armor that you're going with. Now we are moving on to a blue JJ. This one's not bad at all. I do think maybe adding a white symbol in the chest would probably be a big improvement to this one. But other than that, I think you've done perfectly. Maybe a different helmet if possible and maybe changing uh, the weapon a bit. Maybe having a more of a silver weapon or maybe even a bit of blue in your weapon design there. And other than that, it would be perfect. Now moving on to Kyoshin. Um, personally, myself, I'm not the biggest fan of that helmet. And I do believe you could do a lot more with Kyoshin because Kyoshin has a lot more abilities and features that can really improve your fashion with him. And I think doing more of the simple design with Kyoshin, you shouldn't really do. I, th I think he could have done a lot better with this. Now moving on to Aramusha. This design I actually really like. I've never seen many people use that blue helmet. The only people I see are really low reps and they're just putting it on to try it out. And then other than that, no one ever uses it. So I would say that's a very good fit. And you got the color matching the mask very well. So this would have to be one of my, probably one of your best uh, looks that you've sent me that I really do like. I just don't see many people actually wearing that helmet and matching it with the color. So you've done a really good good job there looking at warmonger same issue as the red zunhu you have the uh theme going with the black and gold especially even with your weapon but your helmet doesn't share that theme and that's where you're kind of going wrong in some of your uh fashion where i'm seeing you have the theme there and it's pretty good but you're kind of falling into the lines of uh not exactly because your helmet doesn't match it i know that the helmet may look cool with the armor but if it doesn't match it won't look good um, another thing as well, the simple design that you're going for is good, but I do think you need to add a little bit more to the simple design to improve it. Maybe some symbols, maybe something different on it to make it more stand out, but also still be the simple design. Now looking at Warden. So obviously the biggest problem I have with this one, it's the complete full uh, Warden set. So that's not what I like at all. And I think, in my opinion, obviously we've already discussed this, that's really lazy. But the problem, the other big problem with this armor set is that the armor that you've chosen is more of a white and clean feel. And you've gone and did black. That's the problem with this one. This armor has more white details in it. So you should have gone for more of a white and uh, either maybe a white and black warden or a white and gold warden. The black just doesn't work well with this look. Other than that, I would definitely recommend maybe try and mix matching some armor to make it less basic. But other than that, definitely change the color to white or at least change the material black and have the color white to improve this. Lucky last, Black Prior. Um, obviously, I could do a little bit of a nitpick here and say the helmet gold doesn't match the rest of the gold on the armor. But that's just more of a really big nitpick on this one. I'm not going to go focusing on that. Other than that, it's it's good. I like that helmet either way. 
and I think this is just a simple black and gold uh, black prior, so you've done not a bad job there, so not much to really discuss. Thank you to everyone who has submitted me their fashion, and if you want to be part of the next fashion show, please don't forget to send me your fashion on any of my social media platforms, Discord, Instagram, or even Reddit. I don't really use Reddit that much, but if you want to do it there, so don't forget, join the party, and be rated on my terrible fashion show. Besides that, I do hope you enjoyed this lovely video, and tell me in the comments if you liked it or not. And don't forget to like and subscribe, it really helps out the channel. With that, I'll see you next time. Oh